I'm Audrey Gaskins and I'm an interactive associate with Fertility and Sterility here in San Antonio at the annual meeting and I'm here today with Dr. Quinn who's going to tell us a little bit about her prize presentation and what her findings were. Great, thanks for having me. So what we looked at was interpregnancy interval. And the rationale behind this was in the naturally conceiving population, there's been a suggestion that short interpregnancy intervals, which has been defined as up to 18 months, considered short, has been associated with poor pregnancy outcomes. So we thought, well, this is a really important question. We have a lot of women in who are using ART who want to come back for their second child sooner rather than later. They were already infertile. They're getting older. They understand the challenges that trying to conceive presents. and they want to come back sooner, so is our population different in any way? So we used the SART database to look at this population and found that intervals of up to 12 months seem to be associated with those same risks of preterm delivery and small for gestational age, but that beyond that there wasn't an increased risk. So there was no need to wait that additional six months to make it to 18 months as recommended for the naturally conceiving population. Cool. My initial question, I, I came to your presentation and it was great, Thank you. very interesting and, and a very relevant question for both patients and providers. Um, my, my initial thought was, do you have any plans to kind of weigh the outcomes of like take home baby or live birth and preterm birth particularly for the older women where I could see those being the ones who want the shorter in our pregnancy interval as their fertility is declining. I think it's a really important question. There's a separate abstract that we presented here in this meeting looking at likelihood of achieving pregnancy oh, okay. at all or live birth and yeah. different pregnancy intervals. And we found that very short, less than six month and very long intervals, uh -huh. as you can imagine, as a woman ages, longer intervals were associated with a decreased likelihood of clinical pregnancy and live birth.